Good morning. We're trying this new thing where he helps me figure out what we're going to eat and what time we're going to eat it. We planned on eating breakfast maybe around like um, 11, 11.30. And it's going to be a veggie breakfast, damn it. <laughs> I think we're going to do eggplant roll-ups because i got to get this um, these silver fish out of my fridge. <laughs> um, so right now, because I can't wait that long, I'm just doing what I've been doing for the last couple of days. Not the last couple of days, but the days before that. Just having a little bit of fruit and maybe a little bit of vegetables um, first because it's 10-10 and it's going to be an hour or two before we eat. So starting off with some of these um, beautiful tomatoes that I took care of myself and I washed them and put them in this bowl so I can just um, come and get them when I get to the kitchen. And I'm also going to have a green apple for um, just to start me off here until we do. And I'll probably have some grapes too. I got a bunch of... Um, green grapes here hanging up. So I'm probably going to do this stuff for now until he comes home and we have a big huge veggie breakfast. Okay well this turned into breakfast instead of just being a little snack like I thought it was going to be. Here's what I'm going to have. This is all the leftover raw veggies that I had in the fridge. Tomatoes and then I ended up doing a, a little bowl here of beans I have left over in the fridge and I put Dr. Furman's veggie zest on there. I put the nutritional yeast and then I also used that new um, Mrs. Dash that I have, which is the tomato, basil, garlic. I'll put links to all this stuff down below if you're interested in it. But I'm just gonna have these beans with this mix on it. And then I've got a bunch of fruit too. So this is actually just gonna be breakfast. <laughs> and then later on we'll do the eggplant roll-ups again. Okay, so here's the final meal that I have to eat. Um, this is all of my leftover veggies, some tomatoes, and then this was leftover, um, that nut-based sauce. So I want to make a note about this is, um, I tend to keep sauces for a lot longer than they say, because they say you should only keep them for like two to three days. I think that's a waste of money. I think these sauces keep for quite a while, about a week for me at least. Um, do you know about me? I tend to push it when it comes to <laughs> expiration dates on things too, because I'm cheap. So, um, but I have never had a problem with this kind of stuff, especially with these kinds of recipes because they're not based on um, dairy or animal products or anything. They tend to keep really well, so. Then I got a bunch of green fruit as well. We'll see what I get through. This is a ton of food, actually. Like, if you pick up this plate, it's actually really heavy, so <laughs> we'll see what I get through. But this is my basic breakfast. And then we decided that we'll do something for lunch maybe around 1 or 2 or 3. Uh, we might possibly go to the vegan restaurant today um, or that would have to be after three because we don't like the live music <laughs> um, otherwise we'll just do eggplant roll-ups we'll see I'm into the muffins just a tiny bit I'm at least proud of myself for having some veggies for breakfast <laughs> we're gonna go to the vegan restaurant in a little bit and I'm probably just gonna have to throw out these muffins Okay, I need to do a disclaimer for the video I'm about to show you. I am not always going to be nutritarian. Not 100% of the time. Probably not ever. So, that's the disclaimer for what you're about to see about where we are. <laughs> but we're still trying to keep it vegan. Yeah, still trying to keep it, well, vegetarian. Vegetarian. <laughs> you see two margaritas, some queso, guacamole some beans, some chips. Where do you think we are? We are definitely at a Mexican place, a Tex-Mex place, and um, this is a big part of our relationship, and it always has been, and it always will be. <laughs> yeah, we definitely ordered way too much food. <laughs> Throwing out these muffins. Oops. <laughs> I have a few things I want to talk about, so I'm just going to stop and get it off my chest. First thing I want to talk about is sleep. So when I first started, uh, when I first moved to Las Vegas, I met somebody named Michelle, who's now a really good friend of mine. I went over to her house once. There was a bunch of new vegetarians there. We were all hanging out testing recipes, and Michelle said to the whole group, 
she asked the question, does anyone else feel like they need less sleep when they eat this way? And I didn't, I wasn't feeling that way at the time. And so um, I think there was some other people that were in an agreement and Michelle said that she felt like she needed much less sleep eating this way. Now, I personally have always needed about eight and a half to nine hours of sleep every night. And if I didn't get that, I would, um, it would be hard to wake up and I would uh, need to catch up on another night if I didn't get that amount of sleep. And I always would. And I was, I've been a good sleeper. I've been real good at getting the sleep I needed. For a long time there, I was actually using um, like Benadryl to fall asleep, like the, um, what is it, diphenhydramine or something, the generic tablets to fall asleep. And I used to use that for a long time, but then I had to stop the last, um, I guess about six months ago I stopped because I started to get this side effect, which was like this restless leg syndrome, like in restless limbs, like I had to move if I was using it which is not very conducive to sleep, so I stopped using it. Started to fall asleep naturally, um, and I just tried to go to bed earlier is what I was trying to do, and it started to work, and everything was okay, but still I didn't have any difference in how much sleep I needed. I just was able to kind of fall asleep once I got off the um, supplement for it. And so when I did this 20-day challenge, however, I noticed exactly what Michelle says, which, okay, Coming from me, that's saying something because I've always been eight and a half to nine hours sleep person. When I did the 20 day challenge, seven, seven and a half hours is all I needed, which that's dramatic. That's huge. And I started to go to bed a little bit earlier, but then I could wake up at like five, five thirty without even thinking about it. Just like, meh, I'm up. Like, no problem. That's not me. Um, so, and I say that a lot lately because there's changes that happen to you where you go your whole life and think you're this one person. You think that you need this thing or you think that just even you don't like that flavor or you don't like this food or whatever, or you think you can never go without salt. But these changes can happen and we can become a different person. So I started to not need as much sleep and it was incredible. I loved it. I love getting up early. I love doing my exercise. I love... Um, you know, when waking up feeling like, oh, if I didn't get enough sleep, I'll just sleep more tomorrow, but I don't feel tired. I don't feel, you know, anything. Um, it's been amazing. And so that's a really, really cool effect I had for the last couple months. But everyone knows the last few days haven't been that great for me as far as food goes. We went and got a standard American diet type meal yesterday. We went out for Mexican, we had alcohol. Um, it was fun to go there, it was fun to eat, it was really nice to go to a different restaurant for once, because um, when we moved here, we really only went to vegan places mostly, so I haven't really explored any of the restaurants here, which, you know, it's kind of a bummer, it's kind of like, ah, I wish I could, um, you know, I wish I could explore and we could go out and see things or whatever, but, um, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but um, so yesterday was kind of just feel, this feeling of like, oh, I want to go somewhere else. And we used to always go to Mexican. And I'm not saying I won't ever go to Mexican again because I'm absolutely positive that we will at some point. But I've gone this whole time um, not even being interested in Mexican food. And so when we went, it was great and I loved it and it was really nice to be there. It was a nice, you know, a nice setting to be with him and we had a lot of fun. The food wasn't fantastic. It wasn't like the best Mexican food I've ever had. So, yeah, okay, so here's the thing. This is what happened. We got back from that place. We went pretty early. I mean, I think we went around three or four or something. We got back and I just passed out. <laughs> I just fell asleep on the couch. Now, granted, I only got six hours of sleep last night and that wasn't enough. But if it, that was a month ago, I would have been like, no big deal. I would have waited until it was time to go to bed at night and everything would have been fine. But yesterday, I couldn't stay awake. I mean, I was so tired. And then, so I slept for like an hour during the day, and then we went for a walk. We went to bed around 10, I think it was, and um, I fell right asleep. And so then um, I was getting, I wanted to get up at five, and I, it was like I didn't even sleep. I was so tired. I was like, it was like, you know, sometimes you wake up in the middle of, um, 
REM sleep and you're like, wow. <laughs> That's how I felt. I was so tired. I could have slept for like five more hours. I was like dying. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. But I did get up and I forced myself. But what was a stark contrast, ever before, if I had waken up like that, I just would have been like, oh, no big deal, I'll sleep tomorrow. But I, oh my gosh, I was just completely exhausted. And right now I feel really exhausted too. I feel, I don't feel peppy. I don't feel like, you know, and I can feel the salt in my body. Like my eyes feel more swollen. I can just feel, and all the bloating from yesterday, from the dairy, and these really, really drastic physical changes that I could feel. Um, and I've been getting headaches lately too. That's another thing. The last, I, I think, five or six days, I've been getting like headache every day, which I never get headaches. And so, okay, so my main point is, okay, main point. First of all, main point is sleep is amazing and it changes when you eat this way. You need much less sleep. Um, and it's really dramatic, like it's a very dramatic feeling. A lot of people, I think the problem is when they try to do this stuff, they maybe don't feel these changes as quickly at first, and so they give up because they, they feel like, oh, I'm eating all these vegetables, but I'm not getting any results. I can't, you know, because the results are inside my body, so I can't, you know, it's not like I'm immediately dropping 200 pounds or something, you know, and like suddenly I'm this completely different person. All of these changes are happening inside your body, uh, you know, on a small scale, and it takes a little while for the effects to sort of be cumulative. But at this point, since I've been doing it for so long and it's been so clean lately, when I go off and have an unclean meal or whatever, it's like completely drastic, which is really, really amazing. It just goes to show you that there actually are very drastic things happening inside your body on a cellular level, you know, like on a tiny little microscopic level, there's amazing things happening. And I think that's exactly why those cravings and stuff have been, had been easier for me, like when I went to the store the other day. Um, so that's really cool. And I just want to say like, that note about, I mean, the thing is like, our bodies can run on so many different types of fuel, like so many different types of fuel and really bad types of fuel too. Like we can get by on the crappiest types of fuel you can imagine. Of course, we all know that. But it actually does make a difference. And I think it's sort of a disservice to us because we feel like, oh, well, we could just eat whatever we want and we'll be fine as long as we can get through our days and sort of, you know, just keep going or whatever. And then the source of fuel that, whatever source of fuel we're eating must, must be fine. That's not true. <laughs> it's, it's actually really, really not true. But it's just that because these changes happen on a cellular level, on such a small, tiny level that you don't see the effects until much later, it's not like cause and effect. It's not like it happens right away. Whereas right now, for me, it is right away. I can see it right away. These changes are like, oh, I don't like my digestion. I don't like the sleep part. I don't like the way I feel, um, the headaches, stuff like that. That is really dramatic for me because it is such a change. But when you've been eating that way for so long, it's not... Um, it's not as dramatic. So those are a few things I wanted to talk about. I would love to know, do you feel the same way? Like, have you noticed, okay, for, for those of you strict nutritarians or even not strict nutritarians, do you feel major physical differences um, with a change in diet? Like internal physical stuff, not like I lost weight or something like that, but like real, like do you get a headaches, you get different things. And for the people that are strict nutritarians, do you need less sleep? Is it just me and Michelle? <laughs> or do you actually feel like you don't need as much sleep on this? Which is a huge indicator to me that I want to eat as clean as possible. I'm gonna try, you know, work in progress, okay? Progress, not perfection. I'll get better, whatever. You're actually watching my journey, which I think is um, probably similar to most of your journeys in that these changes, even if you see something that you want to fix, you can't necessarily fix it right away. So go easy on me, you know, <laughs> but I'm really working to change the things that I can um, as quickly as I can. But this is just major proof for me. And I really, really want that sleep thing back where I feel great when I get up and I don't need as much sleep. I really want that back. So actually sort of considering maybe doing a, another 20 day challenge because um, I really would like to lose the last 10 pounds and be done with that for good. And um, yeah, I'm just feeling a lot better about everything anyhow. So I think maybe I might do it again, but I might craft my own 20 day challenge and come up with my own recipes and stuff. So 
because I don't, I think if I, if I try to do the other one again, I'd be like, <laughs> you know. Um, all right, so we'll see what happens. Have a great day. Uh, bye. <laughs>